Oh, so, you're recording this? I'm really doing it. Just chat. Okay. And if I... Yeah. So tell me about your win two weeks ago. Like, what was it all about? Well... How did you feel? I'd kind of been trending, I guess, a little bit with good rounds, and um, I knew my ball striking was getting better. But ultimately, to win out on tour, you have to be really sharp with the putter. And I actually made a change in at the Arkansas tournament, mm -hmm. the Walmart tournament, yeah. and same putter, just all blacked out, and just a different look. And I'm. I putted well that week, I finished top 10, and just a little momentum, a little more confidence in what I was doing. Played okay at KPMG, and then struck it really well in the practice round at um, Thornberry Creek, and yeah. Did you change start, uh, so. anything in your routine to make you feel different over the ball when you putt, or, um, or it just was like a... Went back to being a kid again, to be honest. Um, I got really mechanical last year, I was going on... on Quintech and like analyzing my stroke and um, trying to make it perfect. Which we are then. I've always been a good putter, um, so I, yeah, I probably shouldn't have done it because I wasn't too far off to begin with. But um, yeah, just got over, over analytical and kind of got out of that um, mindset of just being a kid looking at the hole rolling it in. So when it comes to like the the win, when you came down to like like the world never tuck in the end. Yeah. So, like, when you're over those putts and you had to make a putt at the end mm -hmm. as well, like, w did you really stay focused on just being in the moment? Like, what was your mind on? A couple of things. Um, I had uh, two friends send me um, actually different Bible verses but said that ultimately the same thing, be yeah. strong and courageous. So I was reading those verses and kind of quoting them to myself during the whole round. And then um, I, felt, I, mean, I felt good all week over the, over the putts, but... Um, you, when you ultimately step up over it, what you're trying to do is roll it at perfect speed. And if, if it happens to be close to having the right line, it'll go in with the right speed. So I did that all week. Nothing really changed. And um, yeah, I mean, I, to make an 11 footer on the last was huge because I did not want to play extra holes. So that, that was, was really like, relieved. You're, you're yeah. awesome. awesome. blacked out your putter. What do you mean by that? Um, painted all black. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. That's what uh -huh. I'm talking about. And it went black shaft, all black head, and then just one solid white line on the top. So is that a, a Scotty Cameron that you use? It's an Odyssey. Uh, yeah, okay. Marksman thing. Um, okay. I've used the silver head with a regular shaft in it for probably for the good part of the last two years. Right. Um, and I love it because it's so easy to line up. So... Um, Madeline Sagstrom from Sweden had this all blacked out one and it looked good. And I, was, I mean, I, I'm not opposed to changing things up. I'm not superstitious or anything like that. And sometimes like a fresh like, right. look at something can just did um, a good change. When was the last time you changed your putter? Like, did you I actually, I messed around with a few putters last year when I was doing all the Quintech uh -huh. stuff um, because I was rotating the head a little too much through impact. Um, which I didn't know when I was out there and it, to be honest it wasn't making a big enough difference but when you get on a machine and you're getting really analytical then you do try and get it to be perfect so um, we went to a, a little a part of that was a little bit more toe heavy so that I wouldn't rotate it as much but I didn't find those easier to line up or anything like that so I just, you know what, this one feels good to me I'm going back to this one so you feel like putting really was the difference to give you that confidence, that step, or combination? Yeah, yeah. Um, um, combination. Um, because you've got to have great proximity to the hole mm -hmm. in order to make a lot of birdies. Right. So it's and approach, yeah, and I, it was a great ball striking week for me. Well, for, for the most part, of Sunday wasn't wasn't as good as the first three rounds, but um, yeah, it was it was did, certainly good enough. Did you do anything different the morning of Sunday, or did you stay pretty? true to your routine and what's your routine you know before the round or at night like how, how did you obviously you spoke your bible but yeah it had been seven years since I won so um well at least on the LPGA tour and um I woke up pretty early I think it may be like 5 30 and I was trying to sleep until I think about 7 30 8 o'clock right um and I my mind was racing obviously I was excited and anxious at the same time and um 
I just actually popped on the sermon from the church that yeah. my husband and I go to, and that kind of got my mind off, Chills, yeah. off golf. And um, yeah, I just, I guess it got me in a good mindset for the day. So when you win a tournament like that, obviously, you, you know, you haven't won in seven years, so how do you keep the momentum going? And like, are you just staying in your same routine or like, like where are you at right now? You, you know, you just came back from the U.S. Open. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just golf. Um, and my routines, to be honest, haven't changed that much, if, if at all. Um, I think you, you tweak things here and there um, when you maybe figure out um, a swing thought that works a little bit more effectively than something else. But, I mean, I've been playing golf for 14 right. years on tour. I don't, I don't have to change a whole lot. Right. Um, and I'm a big believer in if you have good technique, that the rest, the rest will kind of happen. Yeah. And I've been working hard on that. I, I switched coaches in November of Because we 15. spoke um, mm -hmm. that you're kind of like in a place of like, I don't know. And, yeah. like, you know, it was right. I think it was March. And yeah. not, not, I don't know, but like, you know, something's got to shift. So. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you got to be so patient in this game because we obviously lose more than we win. Yeah. And um, Jason Duffner hinted at that when he won Memorial. And yeah. you just got to have really thick skin. Thick skin, I like it. Yeah. All right, there she is, the winner. <laughs>